When updating an automotive icon, it's easy to mess up. The new vehicle cannot be the same, but heaven help you if you make it too different. With the newest JL Generation Wrangler, has Jeep somehow managed to elevate the king without angering the villagers? Short answer, yes. But the long answer is pretty interesting. Don't let the evolutionary exterior design fool you. Within the first hundred feet, it is clear something's changed. This Wrangler doesn't drive like a tent, it drives like an SUV. With a longer wheelbase, wider track, and a well-sorted suspension, ride quality is actually quite good, especially compared to Wranglers of the past. Another major leap forward is the steering. It's linear and responsive with what I would describe as ideal resistance. I mean, yes, there's still a little bit of slack, but the days of driving your Wrangler like a 1950s movie car are over. Considering its on-road refinement, you're probably wondering, has the Wrangler devolved into an off-road poser? No, it has not. All the critical angles, approach, departure, ground clearance, have improved versus the JK Wrangler. Four-wheeling action, there's no bad Wrangler, but true off-road connoisseurs will want the Rubicon with its robust Dana 44 axles, electronic locking front and rear differentials, electronic front sway bar disconnect, hardcore crawl ratio, 10.8 inches of ground clearance, heavy gauge steel rock rails, and 33 inch tires, though they are all terrain tires, so depending on your plans, you might want to upgrade to mud and snow tires. The Rubicon also looks cooler with higher fenders, a vented hood, and red hooks, because you can't conquer mother nature without red hooks. With good judgment and maybe some help, the Wrangler Rubicon can scale serious terrain. Nonetheless, most Wranglers will live their lives in civilization. If you're the kind of person that likes to look rugged but not live rugged, there are a number of details that make this the most civilized Wrangler yet. Unimpeded driver's sight lines are made possible by larger windows and a lower belt line that also places the window sill at the right height to rest your arm. Soft door materials keep that arm comfortable, as do equal height armrests. The doors have detents to hold them open, and the cup holders have an integrated phone slot. Compared to Wranglers of yore, the JL's interior quality is a revelation. Even so, there are plenty of brawny touches. Those are real bolts securing the HVAC controls. The silver trim is actually metal plated, the controls are properly grippy and knurled. There are grab handles for the front passenger, on the A-pillars, and in the four-door, on the B-pillars as well. And if you're worried about having your stuff stolen, both the glove compartment and the large center console are lockable. Tim. Where passenger accommodations are concerned, the Wrangler's cabin provides excellent headspace up front. Helping the driver dial in their preferred driving position is a steering wheel that tilts and telescopes, along with two-way driver's seat lumbar support. Oh boy. In back you'll enjoy decent spaciousness, standard rear vents, and seatbacks that are more reclined than the old Wrangler, but that do not recline. Go two-door and you'll lose one back seat and about two and a half inches of legroom. Out back is plenty of cargo space, and the rear seats fold with no fuss for larger loads. Okay, let's talk tops. There's a hard top with removable roof panels, a hard top with a full-length power retractable cloth roof that opens up to 60 miles per hour, and of course, the standard classic soft top. With either of the hard tops installed, unstrained conversation is no problem. The soft top is a little bit louder, but not offensively so. Of the three tops, the soft top is my favorite for two reasons. One, it affords the best view out, and two, accessing that view is miraculously simple. Come with me, won't you? Most significant change, if you've ever had a Jeep previous to this one, bunch of zippers, there are no more zippers. Literally, it's just tabs, and all the uh, windows just slide right out. Let's go this way. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, get out of here, you window. Now let's pull the sides, same deal. Got these little uh, spots right here, just pull them up. Ugh. 
I'm making this look harder than it is. This will get easier. This is like the first time I've actually taken it off. You know what? I am doing this the dumb way. There we go. See, it gets easier as you do it. If you go back up front here, you have two releases. You flip them, flip them, throw this thing back. And this enables what's called the Sunrider position. Plenty of air. But if you want to drop the whole mess, there's a single latch right under here. Pull, and then flop it on back. Sweet! Now, the real trick, how long will it take for me to put all this mess back together? Let's time it. And go. Time! Not bad for an amateur. Yeah, it's all there. drive topless and wind throughout the cabin is pleasantly breezy and not unlike the Lamborghini Huracan Spider, the windshield header is far forward filling your gaze with beautiful blue skies. The Jeep Wrangler isn't just a great off-roader, it's a great convertible. The maximum effect, remove a few bolts and you can ditch the doors. Note, there's a clever grab handle right here that makes these things easier to carry. Jeep has smartly made reinstallation a breeze by using different length door pins and stamping the Torx tool size right onto the hinge. The door is also way less, as does the hood, windshield surround, and exterior tailgate skin, thanks to our old friend, aluminum. That, plus expanded use of high strength steel, gives us a Wrangler chassis that's stiffer, yet comparatively svelte. Blending lightweight materials, improved aerodynamics, no really, and new engines, the Wrangler is decently efficient. I'd love to tell you all about the efficiency of the 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, but those details weren't released before making this video. Head over to KBB.com if you're curious. What I can tell you is that the 4-cylinder is fantastic. Nothing about its operation says small displacement turbo. It even pulls well at super low revs, which is really helpful if you're crawling over boulders. As a bonus, the turbocharger allows the four-cylinder to produce the same power at altitude as it does at sea level. Teamed exclusively with a smooth and responsive eight-speed automatic transmission, the four-cylinder is also equipped with e-torque, a system that saves fuel with the engine start-stop and regenerative braking abilities of a mild hybrid. If you'd rather drive a V6, you're in luck. Displacing 3.6 liters, the standard V6 moves the Wrangler with gusto and noise. The four-cylinder is actually the torqueier engine, but unlike the four, the V6 comes with a standard six-speed manual transmission for those holdouts who still change gears themselves. Rounding out the engine lineup in 2019 is a three-liter diesel eight-speed automatic combo. Lastly, if you plan to tow, the four-door Wrangler can manage up to 3,500 pounds. Slightly more than $28,000, including destination, will buy you a base two-door Wrangler Sport with crank windows, manual locks, four-wheel drive with a two-speed transfer case, four airbags, push-button start, a washable interior with removable carpet and drain plugs, a backup camera, eight-speaker audio, and this neat information plaque on the swing gate, but not air conditioning. Budget an extra $3,500 if you'd like four doors. Exploring the option sheet and higher trims unlocks passive entry, leather or premium cloth seats, heated front seats, extra USB ports, rear parking sensors, LED head, fog, and tail lights, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alerts, a limited slip differential, integrated auxiliary switches, and select track full-time four-wheel drive for the Sahara trim. A five-inch touchscreen comes standard, but the optional fourth-generation Uconnect infotainment system is a worthwhile upgrade, offering an appealing interface, pinch gesture controls, large seven or 8.4 inch screens, and smartphone integration via Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. One more cool element is the windshield. Remove four bolts and the windshield wipers and it flips right down. There is no better way to commune with nature than getting some of it in your teeth. 